Hi, I'm just going to send you this quickly because if you close the computer and reopen, um, Skype will suddenly look completely different and very foreign. And you may not like that. I certainly didn't. And I was horrified because I didn't have my favorites list and everything. So um, even though all of the developers said that you couldn't go back, I eventually found that you could actually delete Skype. Don't worry, all of your settings are saved in your account. And you could get um, the old classic Skype back. So this is just to show you how. I'm going to put that link in the email with this and um, then you can just click on the link and you'll end up on this page. Now normally you just go get, just click on that, get Skype um, for Mac and it would download the latest. But don't, if you want the old Skype back, then you click here on this little arrow there and you click and you wait. And you'll see, instead of just get Skype for Mac, um, you have all these other options at the bottom of which is get classic Skype. So then you click on that and it will start to download. I've already downloaded it, so I won't. But if you go like that, you see there that little thing will start up. And uh, I'm going to say no because I've already got it. So then you'll... Um, click on that, which I already had. Um, it's the 7.5937 down here in the right hand corner and open it, put it in your applications and open it again. So then you'll be back here and you'll have your old Skype back with the um, favorites list, etc. Now it will keep on every time you close Skype it will actually um, renew to the old one, uh, to the new one again. So what you've got to do is go into preferences here and here at the general box in um, Skype preferences, all the way down at the bottom here, always keep Skype up to date. Now in order for it to remain in this classic version, unclick that otherwise every time you close Skype when you open it again it'll be that new version which is horrid. Okie dokies well I hope that helps I'm going to send this off to you in an email so um, if I mean it may be that Skype's still fine if um, Skype hasn't changed then quickly go into your preferences and unclick that always keep up uh, keep Skype up to date. If you unclick that now, then when you do close down and restart the computer, uh, which you ought to do every now and again anyway, just to um, let it be healthy, uh, it won't update. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.